Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide. And in this video, I want to share with you how to leverage the power of LinkedIn groups for business. LinkedIn groups are like a hub of people with the same interests that enable people to make contacts, share information, find or give answers, and ultimately get established as experts in their industry. When it comes to LinkedIn groups, you have two options. You can either create your own group or you can join existing groups. There are many benefits to joining a LinkedIn group. First, it can enable enable you to strengthen your relationship with key people in your industry so they get to know, like and trust you further while remaining on their radar. Being part of LinkedIn groups can also help you generate traffic to your online touch points since you can promote your products and services to members of the group or get referred to by members of the group you belong to. Plus, an added benefit is the ability to send personalized private messages to group members for free. Other benefits include the ability of widening your network quite quickly and also positioning yourself as an expert, especially when you provide answers to questions from LinkedIn group members or share useful information to them. There are also many benefits to creating your own LinkedIn group. First, when you create your own LinkedIn group, it positions you as a thought leader in your industry and an expert. It also allows you to own a network of like-minded people, which you can leverage for business, such as marketing your products or services. Plus, when you own a LinkedIn group, it can be a considerable traffic source as your links can feature permanently in the profile of the group and you can send personalized private messages to any group member for free and send group weekly messages too. For example, should you have a LinkedIn group of 5,000 members, you could once a week send a group message to all these 5,000 members and potentially get your message seen by all of them. When owning a LinkedIn group, you will also notice that your connection requests will increase as members will very likely want to include you in their list of profile connections. Lastly, when owning a LinkedIn group, you have control over the content. You can publish any post you want or send any message you want to members as often as you want. You can remove members too and delete the posts they publish on the group newsfeed. Note that you can create up to 30 groups and can be the member of up to 100 groups. You can access the groups you belong to or the groups you own by logging into your LinkedIn profile, clicking on the drop down menu next to work and clicking on groups or by going straight to linkedin.com forward slash groups. There you'll see the post from the groups you belong to and own. There's also a tab called my groups where you can see the lists of groups you are a member of or that you own. The tab Discover shows personalized group recommendations. To look for potential groups to join, simply go to your LinkedIn profile and type in a keyword relevant to your industry. For example, if you are an interior designer, type in the keyword interior design in the search bar and then click on search. This will list all the groups that include the keyword interior design. Click on the group that piques your interest and then check out the about section of the group to make sure joining this group is aligned with what you want to do and achieve from being a member. If you like what you see, simply click on ask to join and wait to be approved by the administrator of the group. As a group member, it is important to make valuable contributions consistently that add value and provide insights to the other members. Avoid coming across as spammy by over promoting yourself or your business. Instead, apply the 80-20 rule where 80% of the content you publish is non-promotional. When you do promote offers, make sure that they are relevant to the group members and aligned with their interests and values. Also make sure you're not breaching any of the group rules. Should you wish to create a group, go to linkedin.com forward slash groups, then click on my groups and then create group. When you create a group, you'll have to come up with a keyword rich group name. In other words, a group name that your target audience is likely to look for in LinkedIn's search engine. Your LinkedIn group should also have set rules. For example, let them know that all posts from members are subject to moderation and should add value to other group members. Then write a description for your group that underlines the purpose of the group and who the group was created for. For example, should you be creating a group about interior design, your description could be the purpose of this group is to create a platform for interior designers to share ideas, display their work, grow their network, provide help to each other and connect with like-minded people. Then add a profile picture for your group which could be a logo or any relevant image. 
When you own a group, you'll have to manage it daily. Your role as the owner will be to approve member requests, since you'll most likely receive quite a few requests to join on a daily basis, screen posts to make sure no posts are published that break the rules of your group or are irrelevant and likely not add value to members, delete spam, remove group members if necessary, give warnings to group members privately should they be breaking the rules, Acknowledge posts or contribute to posts published by other members to help with engagement. Send weekly group messages, also known as send an announcement. Send personalized messages daily to some members to strengthen relationships. Publish content relevant to your group. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I've got an even better bonus for you. If you want to know how to leverage the power of LinkedIn even further, I've got my LinkedIn account optimization video tutorial. I'm going to play a preview in just a second. Click the tab on this video and it's going to take you to where you've got instant access to that full video. Plus, you're going to get another three videos from our best-selling LinkedIn Masterclass Home Study course and it's not going to cost you anything. In these additional three bonus videos, I'll reveal how to leverage the power of LinkedIn ads for more traffic and leads, how to monetize your LinkedIn marketing efforts and how to put together and execute an effective LinkedIn strategic plan to experience results much faster than anyone else. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Click on the thumbs up, it really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you'll see our newest videos. See you soon. Hello and welcome to this video on how to create and optimize your LinkedIn profile. So to create and optimize your LinkedIn profile, you need to do a few things. You need to customize your LinkedIn URL, you need to customize your banner, your profile picture, you need to add a headline, a summary, your experience, the featured skills and endorsements needs to be filled out, recommendations, you need to have plenty of recommendations and your profile strength. You need to have a high profile strength. So let's look at each one in individually. So to customize your LinkedIn URL, you'll notice that by default, when you create your LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn will give you a non-customized LinkedIn URL. So linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash, and then your first name, last name, and a number. Now you want your LinkedIn URL to look like this. So it should be your first name and last name. So how do you do this? How do you customize your LinkedIn URL? Well, first you log into your LinkedIn account and click on the Me tab. When you click on the Me tab, a drop down menu will appear click on view profile and then when you click on view profile it will take you to this page that you see here and click on profile and URL here when you click on that it will take you to this page and you click on the pencil next to your URL and then you type in the URL that you want so it should be your first and last name then the banner every LinkedIn profile has a banner so the banner should be a thousand five hundred eighty four pixels times three hundred and ninety six pixels if you want it to fit perfectly.